hi guys welcome to the max master class in today's video we are going to see all about ntse so what is the meaning of ntsc and what ntsc examination is this is a national level talent search examination this is national level talent search examination if you crush this examination you are going to get the maximum benefit in the form of scholarship till the end of your education so then the students uh, who, who who can appear this examination who can appear this examination and what is the eligibility criteria or the exam pattern and what are the benefits we are going to get after this examination crushing this examination and when the result and when the exam date will come so we are going to see all the things in this today's video so first of all we are going to see the eligibility so the students those who are studying in any government private aided or external students in the class 10 they can appear for this NTSC examination national talent search examination so but the condition is you have to secure minimum 60 percentage of the marks in the class 9th this is the eligibility criteria the students those who have secured more than 60 percentage of the marks they can appear for this examination and this now the examination is going to be conducted in the two stages stage 1 and stage 2 the students those who are going to clear the stage 1 examination they are going to appear in the stage 2 examination and stage 1 examination is going to be conducted by the state board whether as the stage 2 examination is going to be conducted by the central board that is the NCERT so now in stage 1 examination what are the exam pattern what is the examination pattern and what are the uh, papers you are going to appear in the stage 1 examination now in the stage 1 examination you have to write the two papers one is mat and another one is sat so in this stage 1 examination you have to write the two exams that is mat and sat two papers mat and sat mat means mental ability test this is the mat is mental ability test whereas sat is scholastic aptitude test so mat means mental ability test it is of 100 marks this is of 100 marks and sat is also about 100 marks so 100 and 100 totally there are 200 marks examination it is of 200 marks examination the time given for this one is 120 minutes timing huh? that is 120 minutes and this is also 120 minutes so it is totally about four hours examination these two examinations are going to conduct in the two separate sessions one is in the morning session another one in the afternoon session so these are the two examinations so what is the syllabus for this one mat and sat so mat is mental ability test there is not at all any kind of a prescribed syllabus you are going to get this kind of this kind of question it's not like that but if you observe the previous year question papers the experts are going to analyze that in the mat examination you are going to get the reasoning questions as reasoning reasoning or logical thinking and mirror image mirror image and then afterwards uh, then afterwards like number series so these are the questions appear you are going to appear these are the type of the questions which are going to appear in the mat examination that is mental ability test and this is totally of 100 marks it is of the 100 marks for about two hours examination and the second paper is sat scholastic aptitude test so in sat examination you are going to write the examination on social science science and mathematics so science is of 40 marks SS is also up about 40 marks and maths is of 20 marks totally it is of 100 marks examination so what happens here in sat examination you are going to uh, you have to read the text of 9th and 10th standard of your state board this is not at all any a uh, prescribed syllabus as you are going to get in any other examination because as if it is a uh, national level talent search examination there is not at all any prescribed syllabus but we can say after uh, seeing all the previous year examination previous year question papers of ntsc that 
these all the questions will having some common questions that is on the mental math that is reasoning and time series and mirror images and then afterwards logical thinking these kind of a questions are going to be appear in the math so this is very important and you are going to get good number of marks in the math if you practice well the practice is very important to get the good number of marks in the math because if you uh, it is objective type as if it is a objective type uh, um, examination the answers given almost all they are nearer if you see this a option is the right one then if you observe that one b and c they are also looking similar to that one yes b or c so this kind of a confusion will be there in this math examination so because for that sake you have to make the more and more practice so that you can get the good number of marks in the math examination so the questions appearing in this one is logical thinking then uh, afterwards number series exam uh, number series problems then afterwards mirror image problems uh, these kind of uh, uh, questions you are going to uh, get in this math examination what about sat sat is a scholastic aptitude test the things you have studied in the state board in the state board in class 9 and 10 you are going to write down on that one only especially on the subject science social science and maths so science consists of 40 marks whereas social science is also 40 but mathematics consists of 20 marks so all together it is of 100 marks examination sat so 100 plus 100 200 marks examination there will be a cut off so year by year the cut off is different for the different categories so based on the categories there will be the uh, cut off from the state government after if you cut uh, qualify that cut off marks then you are eligible to appear the stage 2 examination in stage 2 examination also you are having the same papers on mat and sat mat and sat in stage 2 examination but the only the difference is here you are going to study this in this uh sorry in this one in stage 1 examination in social science you are going to write the examination based on your state board syllabus state board syllabus even though you are cbse student you have to study the state board syllabus of social science because they are going to ask many questions on the state history and they are going to ask the, the mainly questions on the state geography for example you, uh, if the student is belonging to the karnataka they might ask the, about the tipu sultan and uh, they might ask about the western ghats ghats so like that these are questions going to appear in the social science even though you are cbs students you may not having this all the syllabus you have to study separately this one this is for the stage 1 examination but in stage 2 examination math is same mental ability test same kind of a questions will be appearing in this one and sat is also same pattern science for ss and mathematics 40 plus 40 plus 20 but here <clears throat> science then social science and then afterwards maths science is of 40 marks social science is also 40 marks and maths is 20 marks now here you are going to study a state board syllabus syllabus but in case of stage 2 examination you have to study cbse syllabus so the only different thing is if the state student qualifies for the stage 2 examination he has to study the cbsc social science and the student is from the cbsc and he is appearing for the stage 1 examination he has to study the state board syllabus of social science of 9th and 10th class and some questions they are uh, high advanced level questions go are going to appear in these two examination advanced level means most of the students they are going to study uh, they are going to start reading the 11th and 12th uh, Uh, syllabus it's not like that advanced level means some applied questions some twisted questions are going to appear uh, from the syllabus 9th and 10th standard okay if you crush this examination if you qualify this examination uh, around 3000 students all over the india are going to be selected it means top 3000 students
in this national talent search examination if you qualify that one if you get succeed to crush that examination then many more benefits are going to be given by the government of india that is a na national talent search examination it is not at all a new examination this examination is being conducted from 1960s from 1960s to search the talents from the india okay so now if you qualify that one what are the benefits you are going to get we are going to discuss this one if you qualify this ntsc examination if you crush the ntsc examination in the stage 1 and stage 2 as well then what are the benefits you are going to get from this one so you are going to become a national scholar you are going to become a national scholar the government of india is going to award you the scholarship per month per month in class 11 and class 12 for class 11 and 12 for class 11th and 12th there will be of rupees 1250 rupees per month they are going to award you the scholarship of rupees 1250 rupees in the class 11 and 12 per month and after that in graduation you are going to be awarded with rupees 2000 per month and after that if you make the post graduation or phd like that any other higher education higher qualifications so based on the ugc norms You are going to be awarded per month scholarship till the end of your education so this is a very uh, important examination it's a very interesting examination to complete your education with the help of scholarship awarded from the government of india so apart from this financial benefit you are having more and more benefits like if you are going to study any other uh, courses now if you are studying one more important benefit is if you are going to take the admission for the general science general science means that uh, apart from jwe neat and iit courses all other courses are going to be considered as a general science courses so in general science course general science courses you will get the reservation reservation for ntsc qualified students those who are qualified in the both the stages stage one and stage two those students are going to get a special reservation in general science courses that is apart from other than the iit jw and NEET. and one more important if the corporates are hiring the students for their jobs then definitely the ntsc scholars are going to be uh, are having the more weightage to get the job if suppose four members are there and one member is uh, uh, ntsc scholar definitely they are going to focus on him so like that you know, these ntsc scholars are having these all the benefits and now when the examination and when the result is going to be announced that we are going to see in the next thing now we will come to know when these examination forms are called usually the stage one examination forms are called in the month of september in the mid month of the september and then after that one month gap will be there you can study well in the month of october and the examination will be conducted in the month of november first sunday usually these examinations are going to be conducted on the first sunday of the november and the result is going to be announced in the month of january so those students who are going to qualify in the stage one examination have to appear for the stage two examination for the stage two examination and these forms are going to be called in the month of march and examination date will be in the month of may on second sunday second sunday and the result will be in the month of july in the month of july so you can get these forms from your school only so usually all the schools all the reputed school including nowadays the government schools are providing these forms 
for the students in their schools only we can just approach your principal school principal or your class teacher they are going to help you how to fill these all examination forms and the form charge is charge is also not so much i think it's about 75 rupees for the general category and uh, and 25 rupees for the scsc category in the government schools and for the added and uh, uh, sorry in government and added schools and if it is unaided school it is a private school it is for about uh, 200 for the general students and 100 rupees for the uh, SCST students like that sub, uh, somewhat like that examination forms and crush this NTSC examination soon I am going to start the NTSC series especially on the GMAT because as if I am teaching the mathematics and it's very easy for me to guide you in the GMAT and ninth, uh, sad paper is you have to study on your own that is of 9th and 10th standard so thank you one and all wish you all the best bye bye take care